This one is rapping, oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I will. Uh, the Raven's air. <laughs> Soon as one of them's caught, another one takes his place. Hey, Harold, have you read this? Harold? Harold? Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. He's gonna steal the eye. But how do you know? Doesn't matter. All that matters is that we catch him. Do you understand? Yeah, but... Do you understand? You and me, mate, we'll be heroes. All right, now, we just have to... What? Halt! Stop! You're under arrest! I don't have time to play. I'm on duty. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. But you don't look like a real cop. You don't even have a revolver. Wouldn't either. All right, Matthew. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, except for my mom. She calls me Maddie, as if I were a little kid. Whether Legrand wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. All right. The door is locked. I'm at a loss with... He doesn't make... A... And he of all people. He doesn't make a very balanced impression. And he, of all people, isn't bothered by a robbery in his own museum. The little label on the door reads, Baroness. Don't believe it. I never thought I'd ever meet you. Uh, pardon me, but uh, we'd prefer... It's all right, Miss Miller. I'd like to speak to the inspector. Unfortunately, just a constable, Lady Westmacott. I'm reading The Vicarage in the Mirror right now, for the fifth time at least. That's nice, Constable... Uh, Mrs. Miller made a good impression. She wanted to protect, but I imagine an extra yet. There are, but not an extraordinary woman yet. They say I made the acquaintance of Dr. Gebhardt on the platform. I'd better let him read his newspaper if I don't have any... I made the acquaintance of Dr. Gebhardt on the platform in Zurich. I'd better let him... Mmm, butterscotch. I've loved them since I was a child. Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth.
Hmm. Maybe if I just suck it. Who'd have thought that one day butterscotch would remind me of my age and of all the things I had to leave behind? I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. Hello? Wow! Don't move a muscle, you feathered fiend! Put the gun down, Robert. If I may introduce... Constable Rob Oliver from the Yard. This is the revered Constable Zell of the Swiss police, who obviously couldn't control his curiosity. I hope you'll acknowledge that I, as a Swiss policeman... Are we still in Switzerland? I could be your eyes on... Oh, really? Concern myself with the matter. Ah, uh, why not? It's your job, but don't expect me to be particularly interested in a lost purse. What do you know of this Raven's heir? He tried to blow me up! Rob, we don't know who we're dealing with yet. In any event, the new Raven is a more dangerous man than the old one. How do you know it's a man? It could just as easily be a woman. Or a man. And anyway, how do you know that it's a new raven? Monsieur? Never mind. I go attend to the door now. Good. And, Constable Zellner? Yes? Don't bother us, unless you have something new to report. Of course. A thief might get anxious if there's too much activity in the freight car. Exact amount. Knock twice. Then we'll know that it's... Yes, sure. Now get moving. Oh, man. The box is secured with a padlock. I won't be able to open it without a key. I strongly suspect that the door is locked. No, it's open. <laughs> <laughs> 